Hi guys, this is an unboxing video. I did a thing that I'm gonna to explain to you why I feel like such a dumbass for doing it. Stay tuned. unboxing video I did just buy a purse but there is a story behind it and I feel like an idiot because I'm smarter than this I know that I'm smarter than this but I fell for the okie doke so here we are um and thank you guys for going on the Louis Vuitton stop site and buying everything the hell up thanks a lot um but I was in the market for a new purse um, I wanted something for the summer, so I was going for the De uh, Demier Azure, the Louis Vuitton, the light print, the light checker um, print for the summer. So I like to go on the Louis site to kind of see what they have because I also like to utilize resale sites. And normally I've had great um, results, okay? I've bought two bags off of a site called Couture USA. Hands down, that's been my best experience. They're based here in the USA. I think they're in Florida. But anywho, um, I saw a bag on the Louis site that I wanted. And um, I went searching through my little um, um, resale sites to see if I could find it. Well, I did find it. It's here. Um, it came yesterday. I did not open it yet because there's been so much buffoonery going on around it. But um, we're going to open it together. It's the uh, Louis Limington, L-Y-M-I-N-G-T-O-A. Yeah, so it's a satchel, um, and it has a um, cross strap. So this is a used, <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay, so here we go. This is it. This is the bag. This is... It's kind of cut off a little bit. That's okay, I'm gonna hold it up. This is everything that they said it was going to be, okay? So when you buy from these sites, um, they authenticate the bag and they guarantee authentication and so on and so forth. So um, when you find a bag like this, can you guys see the inside there? Can they see that? This is a bag that someone probably bought and didn't use or they took really good care of it. Because sometimes on these resale sites, when you look at the picture, it looks like somebody stood over the bag and shat in it. The inside is disgusting. The hardware is tarnished. The bottom and the sides are all messed up. But I have found that if you get a good bag, which I have two. So I'm gonna do a video of the purses that I have. So we'll go over the ones that came from the resale sites and so on and so forth. But this is a good bag, okay? So this one comes with the feet at the bottom. Can they see that? Can they see the whole bag? And I love the fact that you can carry it by the handle or you can make it a crossbody bag. So this is exactly what I wanted. The pictures didn't really do it justice because this is, I got it from Bagista. We're going to talk about that though. And it comes with the two little removable tassels. So this bag is exactly what I wanted. I absolutely love it. So now let's talk about the backstory of said bag. Um, oh, well, wait a minute. Before I do that, um, 
It has two little, well, it has one large slip pocket. Can you see that? And then it has the two slip pockets on the side. Um, this is a really good bag. Whoever had this, they took care of it. Um, because sometimes when you go on these sites, even eBay, um, to me, Macari for buying a used designer purse, I mean, it's like their purses have been fucking war zones. I mean, they are disgusting. And they still want $1,800 for them. So I'm kind of picky on what sites I use, and I'm very picky on what I purchase. But um, this is it. This is, this is, this is the one. This is exactly what I wanted. It is exactly as it was described. Um, it's pretty much a new bag. Okay, so now let's talk about why you're going to laugh at me. So like I said before, I've used Couture USA. They're from Florida. I've purchased two bags from them. You'll see them in another video. And they were perfect. Um, impeccable quality. Um, just everything that they said that the bag was going to be. So this particular beauty I found on a resale site called bagista.com. So they're in the UK. That should have been a red flag for me, but it was not because I wanted the purse, right? So when I went to their website in the UK, they sent me to their USA site. They said, oh, it looks like you're shopping in the USA. So they sent me to the US site, saw the bag, agreed on the price, ordered it, right? In my mind, did I know, are you laughing? Because this is not funny. In my mind, did I know that when you get things from overseas that it has to go through customs? Yes. In my mind, did I know that you may have to pay duties or taxes on the item? Yeah. In my mind, did I piece the two together? Hell no, I did not. I did not know that when I bought this purse that DHL would, number one, bend me over, spread my butt cheeks open, and go at my butt with a microscope. Did not know that. Um, because once you purchase something, oh, this is not funny. Once you purchase something over a certain price, they want to know who you are, so on and so forth. So, yeah, they bent me over. I'm like, what the hell is this? Um, secondly, they then, hi, JoJo, assess taxes or duties on said item okay so first of all they held my package in cincinnati for like three days while they wanted more information from me which was the bending over and the spreading of the cheeks um so then after i gave them all of that they then send me a text message that says that i still owed duties on this purse now, because I don't want to be completely humiliated and looked at as a dumbass, I'm not going to tell you how much it was. They sent the uh, message. I'm going to show you the screenshot of all the I've been through with DHL. They sent the message and said, you have to pay X amount of dollars. If you don't pay it in five days, we're going to return the bag, right? So I looked at the price and I said, I'm not paying all this extra damn money for something that I already paid for. Well, honey, guess what DHL did? They delivered the damn package anyway. That's why I have it. They were supposed to hold it in Cincinnati until I paid the duties. They did not do that. So now my status on my package says, your package has been delivered, but you still owe these duties. I'm going to show you a screenshot of that because the whole thing is just unbelievable. So in my research, I found out that had I not paid the duties, I would have had no guarantee that they were going to send the bag back. Okay? So I guess I'm glad that they sent it. Am I glad that they sent it? I feel like I'm being forced to do something that I did not agree to do. Okay? Um, so I had the bag. I sent the baggies to people an email telling them like, hey, this is way too much. I'm sending the bag back to you. So right now, it's Saturday. I'm going to have to call DHL like, what the f***, bro? 
you said if I didn't pay it, you wouldn't deliver it. And now you've delivered it. And now I've put my hands on it. And now I absolutely love it. And I absolutely want to keep it. So here we are. And in the grand scheme of things, we're in the middle of a pandemic. We've got all this shit going on. And I'm fighting with customs about duties on a freaking bag. I mean, where are my priorities in life? Should I be ashamed? I feel, I feel like I should be ashamed because I feel like this is a bunch of bullshit. And why are you laughing at my pain? I'm dying here. Um, yeah, so that's my dilemma. So I'm going to call DHL on Monday. Like, I thought you weren't going to deliver the package. So they delivered it. It's here. And it's fabulous. It's exactly what I wanted. And I already went on Etsy and bought the little insert for it with the other little compartments. What am I supposed to do in this particular situation? I have totally set myself up to be screwed in either direction. I got a freaking insert from Etsy. They don't want that shit back. I have a purse that I absolutely love. And now that I've put my hands on it, it's absolutely wonderful. Did y'all see this purse? Did I show y'all enough of it? Isn't that nice? Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted. This is what I wanted. And now that I have it, I'm saying to myself, like, why did you do this? So that's it. So this is an unboxing video and I feel like an idiot because I did not consider everything that would go into the purchase. So let me, let, this is the takeaway from this video. The Livington, Limington, I don't even know how to pronounce it, bag is fantastic. It's exactly what I wanted. It is very much okay to use resale sites if you want to purchase a nice designer bag. Um, especially if you can find a good one. And I bought a Gucci bag from Couture USA. I'll show you that one. Fantastic. And then the I bought an MCM Shopper from Couture USA. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to go over that in another video. Um, just don't buy it overseas. Because whatever price you pay for that bag, customs, number one, is going to bend you over and spread cheeks. Completely take your dignity. Because they already have your stuff on file. I need you to know that. Once you purchase it and they have it, they already are connected with the IRS and all the other kind of stuff. So they just want to verify that it's you. Um, just, just, just understand that you're going to pay more money. The duties and the taxes on the bag and it's going to be an additional fee to what you've already paid um so i will try to put an update in the description of what happens when i call dhl um i will let you guys know if i'm going to keep this bag um but i absolutely love it because it's perfect there are no scratches there's no wear there's no scrubbing at the corners like whoever purchased this bag, like the, the feet here, they're not even um, scraped in any way. And I, what am I supposed to do? Like out of all the dilemmas to have in the world, this is not a dilemma that I want to have right now because it just seems so ridiculous. Um, so I'm not buying any more purses for a while. I'm certainly not going to buy anything else from London. Because that's where this came from. And this is a, 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 dis, a disclaimer. This is a red flag. This is a, hey guys. If you're going to purchase something from out of the country, please understand that you're going to be scrutinized, questioned. And I think the value is once it's over $800. I think that's the caveat. If it's over $800, they're going to want to know who you are. They're going to want to match you to whatever database they have us in. Mind you, this is over a purse. And you're going to have to pay more money. I'm going to put the screenshot up here where it says that if I don't pay it in five days, that they are going to send the bag back and return it. But they delivered it anyway. So here we are. Um, do I love the bag? Absolutely. 
It's exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Here we are. I love it. It came in a box. Um, it came with the dust bag. Um, yeah. This bag doesn't come with a little pouchette. Um, it's just the bag. And here we are. I love it. It's perfect. It comes with its tassels, so you don't have to buy any additional um, little tassels. And the inside of it is impeccable. Every time I look at resale um, sites or even eBay, because you know now eBay does, well, eBay um, authenticates items as well. You can't just um, go on eBay and start selling counterfeit stuff. Um, so I always look at the inside of the bag and on top of that. But if you're going to get something used, you want to make sure that the inside of it is clean. Can they see the inside of that? Do you see how clean that is? These are the only types of bags that I'll buy from um, a resale site. So, yeah, I feel silly. My daughter is off camera about to collapse because she's laughing at me and none of this is funny. So yeah, this is an unboxing. I don't know where we're going from here, but do I absolutely love this bag? Yes. So if you are thinking about getting it and you like the whole satchel thing, then get it because this is it right here. So by the time I post this video, I should have the insert and everything. So all is well, you know, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you got a good chuckle, thank you because I do. I feel like a donkey because I'm smarter than this. Like I know this stuff and it just, it didn't dawn on me because I wanted the purse so bad. So here we are. So I have it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or how this is all going to unfold, but Monday I'll get started on it. Are you still smirking? None of this is funny. So it's going back into the dust bag, back into the box, which I keep all my bags in the dust bag anyway. I mean, I have some really cute purses. I'm going to um, go in the closet and pull those out so that you guys can take a look-see at them. But this purse, I love it. This is exactly what I wanted. Um, yeah, haha, ha. jokes on me. I'm not buying anything else for a while. I'm gonna sit my black ass down and stop ordering stuff offline. Right, Shamaya? We're done. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I hope you got a little bit of a laugh. I'll make sure that I make sure I out. I'll make sure that I put screenshots of um, all of the buffoonery with DHL. And I'm going to let you guys know what they say on Monday. But yeah, love the bag. It's fantastic. I'll, I'll get some shots of me with it. You know what? I'm not even putting it on until I figure out what I'm going to do with it. Because right now, I'm very upset because I like it. And I want to keep it. And so now I'm bent over a barrel by U.S. Customs and... It's not even the company's fault because they said that there may be some duties and I was anticipating paying some duties, just not that much. So it's not even their fault. It's really my fault for being uneducated. So hopefully this video, if it doesn't do anything else, it will educate someone who is on the fence and who is thinking about buying something internationally over $800. How's that sound? Have a wonderful weekend, guys. I'm embarrassed enough. I'm humiliated. I feel like a dunce. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. I mean, at the very least, you could do is subscribe since I've bared my naked tail for the world to see what a silly mistake I made. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend.